How many times have you walked in your closet, desperately needing to find something to wear, but suddenly you hate everything in it? Your solution is to run to the nearest mall, buy something quick and easy that you'll probably only ever wear once. For me, this was all the time. Or at least, it wasn't until about a year ago when I watched a documentary called The True Cost. The purpose of The True Cost was to expose the fashion industry's negative environmental and human rights impacts that it has. While this movie showed me what exactly the problem was, it left me with a huge question. What to do next? Hi, my name is Bone Beecher, and about a year ago today, I started my journey of boycotting fast fashion in an effort to reduce my environmental impact. And let me tell you, this was not easy. Pretty much every store out there nowadays is considered fast fashion. And here's the thing, I'm in high school. I don't have $200 to be spending on a t-shirt, even if that t-shirt was made sustainably. But before we get into how I managed to affordably reduce my consumption, let's discuss exactly what fast fashion is. Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines fashion as the approach, design, and marketing of fashion trends that makes it easy and accessible to consumers. The two key words of this definition are quickly and cheaply. The fashion industry often has hundreds to thousands of items on their websites or in stores that are super trendy to appeal to teenagers and young adults. The fashion trends that are promoted oftentimes are super cheap and trendy and supposed to target the young adults in an effort to correlate with the social media trends. Social media trends have a tendency to advertise the fact that once you wear an outfit once in a post, you can't wear it again as it won't be seen as trendy or as cool. This is how the fashion industry became worth $2.4 trillion in 2017, according to the McKinsey Global Fashion Index. But the problem with fast fashion doesn't lie within its marketing. It lies within its creation and disposal of its products. Let me share with you some super surprising facts about the fashion industry that you probably never thought of before. If you look on the information tags of your clothing, oftentimes you'll see synthetic materials such as nylon, spandex, and polyester. These companies use these materials because they're cheap to make and oftentimes more durable than natural fibers. But what they don't tell you is that when these clothing go into landfills, they start to turn into microfibers made of plastic that take thousands of years to dispose. And keep in mind that the U.S. alone last year disposed of 10 million 530,000 tons of clothing and textiles in the landfills. That's a lot of clothing just be wasted. Also, this clothing is often dyed. Chemical dyes often can contain chemicals such as non-ephenyl phosphate and formaldehyde, which are considered to be carcinogenic. So not only are you harming yourselves by wearing these clothing items, you're harming the animals and water that we end up eating and drinking. And talking about water, do you know how much water alone is used to make one single pair of cotton jeans? 1,800 gallons of water. That's a lot of water to be wasting just on one simple fashion item. Now, if you think of it, the fast fashion industry is one of the most polluting industries in the world, and it's not showing any signs of slowing down. And if you think of it, our younger generation, especially the generation I'm in, is considered the most environmentally keen. We come with up with the most eco trends such as metal straws to replace plastic ones and carpooling to reduce our carbon emissions. But why haven't we started thinking about a sustainable closet? The answer to this is money. Oftentimes, sustainable stores are way more expensive than their cheap counterparts. At the end of the day, if you were placed in a position, which would you rather buy? 10 cheap trendy shirts or one sustainably made one? Probably the cheap trendy shirts. And I don't blame you, it's more cost efficient. But here's some ways that I have found to reduce my environmental impact by boycotting fast fashion. My first tip I have is probably the most effective, but the most weird to think about. It's buying less clothing. And let me tell you, as a shopaholic, this was hard for me to even think about. I could not imagine only buying one item of clothing per year. But if you think about it, if you start buying basic items, such as the stuff I'm wearing today, you end up buying less in the long run. Sustainable shops online or in stores often have tons of basic clothing items to choose from in different styles and colors to fit your personal fashion taste. And while this is a great idea, oftentimes it's out of the budget for some people. So if it happens to be out of your budget, you can try Thrift Day. Now, if you're anything like me, I'm an online shopper. So thinking about going in store, spending hours sifting through unorganized clothing racks to find one clothing item that I deem acceptable, is not appealing. 
Luckily for people like us, there's really cool online thrift stores where you can easily search a specific brand or clothing trend that you want to shop for. These stores often let buyers buy clothing directly from human sellers, like people like me and you. Anyone can sell their clothing online at the price that they're choosing. You can even sell formal wear that you normally wear once and then put it in storage. So not only are you recycling your clothing, you're making some quick, quick cash off of it too. Now, the shopping method I use is I buy my basic clothing items from sustainable stores, and then I thrift my trendier pieces. That way, after I no longer want my trendier pieces, I can resell it to someone that does. And if no one ends up buying this clothing, you can always send it off to the American Textile Recycling Center, which recycles your clothing for you into things such as plastic water bottles or playgrounds. How cool is that? And now the last tip I have involves getting a little bit crafty, but it can be fun. It's repairing old and worn clothing items. Now this can range from anything such as sewing a hole in a worn out t-shirt or adding patches or paint to create something entirely new. Now, I understand fast fashion has become such a big thing that it's pretty much impossible to entirely cut it out of our lives, but it's not out of the question. If each one of us starts utilizing these tips, we can, we can reduce our environmental impact, each one of us. And it's also money out of these large corporations' pockets. And let me tell you, at the end of the day, that's something that they will notice. So let's all let's make a sustainable wardrobe the next big eco trend and save the planet one fashion item at a time. Thank you.